Hey, what's up everybody? Today, I'm gonna be playing around with a few different tools, and I thought you guys would be interested to see how I go about doing this. Uh, my TTR 110 pit bike, I'm putting a different carburetor on it, and to do that, I need a special intake manifold. So I've already made one, and I didn't really like the way that it turned out for the carburetor that I was using at the time. So I figured I would make another one, but instead of having to fabricate one out of aluminum like this, like I did before, I figured I would just 3D print one here at the college at the University of Georgia where I work at. So I'm gonna be using a 3D scanner to go about doing this. So first things first, we're gonna take this intake manifold here, scan it with the Artec Leo right there, put it into the computer and see what we get. The thing about scanning is you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time scanning the object because the longer you spend scanning it, the larger the file is gonna be. And for most people, your computer is gonna have a tough time handling it. So you don't really need to focus on the geometry that's not important for what you're doing. Um, my main concerns are this top flange here that the carburetor actually mounts to and then this bottom one. So I'm concerned about this one here because this is where the intake manifold connects to the cylinder head. So that one's also important. As far as the contours go and everything, I'm going to roughly follow those lines after I get a 3D image up on the computer. It's not going to be a huge deal. Um, I have pl plenty of clearance in all directions, but essentially what I'm doing is trying to rotate this outwards by about 30 degrees. That's what I need to do to fit this new carburetor on there. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with it. So after starting up the scanner, I'm just going to be flipping the part around to all sides, trying to get one solid image of the part. It's not going to be perfect by the time I'm done, but... It, it'll get me close enough to be able to pick up the critical geometry that I'm focused on. And like I said, you don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing this because it takes forever for it to upload. It probably took me 30 plus minutes just for these files to upload. So I skipped the portion where I had to upload all of the scans into Artec Studio and then trim off a bunch of unnecessary geometry like, you know, the marker that I used to prop up the intake manifold and stuff. And I just skipped to write where I'm using Autodesk Inventor to replicate the important geometry, the two faces that I mentioned where the carburetor mounts to the intake manifold and then the face where the intake manifold mounts to the cylinder head. Those are my main concerns, so I'm using a simple set of calipers and I'm copying that geometry and then recreating those two portions and then um, shifting the side that the carburetor mounts to outward by 30 degrees. So those are my most critical portions and then I'm also going to um, you know, do my own rendition of the the sweeping contours of where the the atomized air fuel mixture will flow through down into the cylinder head Because I'm making this part out of plastic, you can see I've added pretty large fillets to both flanges. And I've also added a kind of dent for relief for the bolt head to clear when I'm installing this part onto the cylinder head. I added my logo that I use for all of my little trinkets and parts and stuff that I make. I did that on Fusion 360 because it's a little bit easier. 
So I'm, I'm just printing the part out of nylon carbon fiber on this Fordis 450 MC. It's a really nice machine. Uh, it does excellent work in the finish on, of, of the plastic part when it comes out almost looks injection molded. Um, as you can see here, here it is in its raw state. It still needs to be soaked. And then the final product here um, after it came out of the solution with all the supports removed.